NATO Rapid Response to Crisis in Middle East Sea Waters Crises in the waters of the Middle East have been of great concern in recent years, with increased tensions in strategic shipping lanes such as the Strait of Hormuz and Bab el-Mandeb. The region, a key conduit for the global oil trade, is often the arena for political and military conflicts involving a wide range of international actors. In the face of threats to stability and security in the region, NATO assumes an important role by increasing its rapid response preparedness in these waters. NATO operations in the Middle East, particularly in strategic waters, are part of the alliance's strategy to protect its members' interests and ensure freedom of navigation. By involving a wide range of member states, NATO acts as a collective defense umbrella that coordinates responses to diverse maritime threats, from terrorist attacks to armed smuggling. NATO's responsiveness is crucial in dealing with rapid developments in the region. Crises in Middle Eastern waters are often linked to broader geopolitical conflicts in the region. Tensions between Iran and Western countries, particularly the United States and its allies, have been a major driver of instability in the Strait of Hormuz. Iran, which wields considerable influence in the region, often uses blockade tactics or threats against ships passing through the passage in response to international sanctions or U.S. military operations in the region. In response to these tensions, NATO is actively coordinating with its member states and regional partners to increase military presence in Middle Eastern waters. Multinational maritime patrols were stepped up, warships were deployed, and intensive surveillance operations were conducted to ensure that threats to commercial vessels were immediately addressed. This rapid response builds on NATO's experience in dealing with crisis situations in other regions, such as in the Mediterranean Sea and the Gulf of Aden. One of NATO's key operations in Middle Eastern waters is the escort of merchant ships and oil tankers which are often the target of attacks. On several occasions, armed militants and terrorist groups have launched attacks on these vessels, using speedboats, sea mines or armed drones. These operations are critical to maintaining the flow of global trade that relies heavily on security in the region. In addition, NATO is also involved in countering the threat of terrorism in the sea area. With the increasing activities of extremist groups in Yemen and Somalia, such as Al-Shabaab and the Houthi rebel group, the threat to ships traveling through the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden has increased. NATO has strengthened cooperation with the navies of countries in the region to address this issue, including through training and capacity building for counterterrorism operations. NATO also has to deal with another challenge, which is armed smuggling flowing by sea in the Middle East. These weapons are often used by armed groups in regional conflicts that exacerbate instability on the ground. In several operations, NATO warships have intercepted illegal armed shipments destined for militant groups in Yemen and Syria. These efforts are part of NATO's strategy to prevent further conflict in the region. As the world's largest military alliance, NATO also has the ability to deploy troops on a large scale at short notice. This includes the deployment of aircraft carriers, submarines and destroyers equipped with advanced technology to detect and respond to emerging threats. With integrated communications and intelligence systems, NATO can quickly coordinate its operations across the region, ensuring that any threats are effectively addressed. In addition to the military aspect, NATO is also involved in diplomatic efforts in the Middle East region. Dialogue with countries such as Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt is an important part of NATO's strategy to maintain regional stability. NATO actively seeks to build partnerships with countries in the region through maritime security programs, which aim to strengthen their defense capabilities. 
crises in Middle Eastern waters demand not only a military response, but also a broader political solution. In this regard, NATO supports diplomatic efforts aimed at reducing tensions between Iran and Western countries. While NATO is not directly involved in political negotiations, its presence in the region provides the stability necessary to facilitate dialogue and peace talks. However, NATO operations in Middle Eastern waters are also challenged by international political dynamics. Tensions between NATO member states themselves sometimes become an obstacle to more coordinated action. For example, differences in views between Turkey and European countries regarding policies towards Iran and Syria can affect the coordination of military operations in the region. On the other hand, Countries such as Russia and China are also showing growing interest in Middle Eastern waters, deploying their own ships to patrol the region. This adds to the complexity of the dynamics on the ground, as these countries have different political agendas from NATO. Therefore, NATO must continue to adapt to this changing situation, maintaining a balance between military power and diplomacy. In addition to dealing with immediate threats, NATO must also consider the long-term impact of its presence in the Middle East. Continued engagement in the region requires substantial resources, both in terms of finances and personnel. Meanwhile, the international community is increasingly demanding a more peaceful and diplomatic solution to the crisis in the region. However, NATO's rapid response to crises in Middle Eastern waters has proven effective in preventing a greater escalation of conflict. With coordinated operations and a strong military presence, NATO managed to keep international shipping lanes safe, protect global economic interests, and prevent further spread of violence. Going forward, NATO must remain flexible and responsive to developments in the Middle East. The region's crises are expected to continue to challenge the alliance, especially given the continuing political and security uncertainties. However, with the resources and capabilities at its disposal, NATO is poised to continue to play an important role in maintaining maritime stability and security in this strategic region. Ultimately, NATO's success in addressing crises in Middle Eastern waters depends not only on its military strength, but also on the alliance's ability to cooperate with international partners, respond to complex geopolitical dynamics, and address evolving challenges.